we need to start our show on a little bit of a sour note. The actor Paul Walker, best known for his roles in the Fast and Furious series, passed away on Saturday, and there was a car wreck in which he was involved. The car exploded, and he lost his life. There was another man in the car. It is not, tr it is not known at this point who was driving, who was the passenger. The details are all unknown. What we do know is this is a very terrible tragedy, and we wish all his family and friends our deepest condolences in this very trying time. bit of a viewer request. In my viewer mail segment last week, I was asked about doing another video about YouTube do's and don'ts. And so, we're going to start off with that. Now, first thing we're going to talk about is copyright. Because a lot of people believe just because they know what fair use is, that they can use it that way. However, YouTube doesn't work that way. They don't care if something is technically fair use. If a big company leans on them, they're going to remove your videos. It can happen at random, and it can be very annoying. One of our own here at Hold the Line had this happen recently with the company Viacom. They found out he was using their product to maybe get someone else to want to watch their show, and, well, I believe they reacted thusly. Now, personally, I've always believed most copyright claims, particularly on YouTube videos, are usually just people who are greedy, greedy bitches trying to make more money than they frankly deserve. Because Fair Use exists for a reason, and I honestly believe if YouTube is not going to follow the Fair Use Act, maybe they should just put that whenever you sign up. The fair Use means nothing, and there it is. That said, there are companies who don't seem to care, who are willing to allow Fair Use like it's supposed to be, and there are some who don't. The longer you're on YouTube, you'll learn which ones do and don't. The best thing I know to do, for those of you who are new out there, is to set up a second channel. And put your videos on there first. That way, if you do get a strike, at least it's not on your main channel. Give it a couple of days, see if it gets a strike on it. If it doesn't, go ahead and upload it to your main channel. Now, the second tip I'll give you about YouTube is you have to be in it for the long haul. Even quote-unquote big YouTubers, say like Doug Walker, better known as the Nostalgia Critic, Angry Joe, the Spoony One, all these guys took years to get to the big level that they are at right now. I'll give you an example. Angry Joe who's a bigger reviewer, I've mentioned him in my channel of the week, and everybody knows who Angry Joe is, but he only just recently hit his million subscriber. So it's going to take you a long time to get any level of recognition, if you do at all. And my final tip is going to be just be yourself. I said this in my last video, and I say it again. It's very important you don't try to be somebody else. If you're a game reviewer, don't try to be Angry Joe. Don't try to be the Angry Video Game Nerd. Don't try to be a nostalgia critic. Be yourself. That'll get you the best response from everyone because you're in. When you're making a YouTube video, it's all about projecting yourself. YouTube. It's in the name. So just always remember to be yourself. Don't be afraid to try new things. And don't be afraid to let new things go if they do not work. Don't hold on to ideas that just frankly need to die. Alright, next up we're going to talk about Star Wars, and the newest Star Wars movie, Episode 7, has been pushed back to a December 18th, 2015 release. There have been many speculations as to why this has happened. Some people believe maybe filming is not going as well, maybe they've been delayed. My thought is, as Disney owns both Star Wars and Marvel, they don't want the Avengers 2 and Star Wars Episode 7 to open up anywhere near each other, because each one will hit revenue from the other one. The main point is that with Star Wars being moved to a December release, it makes you wonder if maybe they have a little less faith in it than they're saying up front. And in fact, this will be going into the same slot that it will be occupied for this year and next year by The Hobbit. So it begs the question, do they think it's going to be a Hobbit-level success, or do they not think it can hold its weight in a summer blockbuster arena? The next thing I want to talk about is a little bit, a little bit more personal to me. You see, for the last... 14 years. I smoked a pack of cigarettes a day. Every day. Like clockwork. And recently I found a product that allowed me to stop doing that, but still get the nicotine I want. 
Now I know at least 30% of the gaming community are smokers. I don't want to sound preachy, I don't want to sound like I want a soapbox, but you may want to look into electronic cigarettes or personal vaporizers. This is doctor approved and a lot safer. It's basically the safest way you can ingest the nicotine that your body craves into your body. You're cutting out at least 500 chemicals that are going into your body in a cigarette. I've been on them now for a little under three months. I can tell you, I don't miss cigarettes, I don't want cigarettes. I'm getting the exact same fulfillment that I had with cigarettes without any of the negative side effects. Now I'm not going to tell you which brand to use or any of that, I'm not here to make an endorsement. But I will say our channels of the week, and yes channels of the week this week, are two guys who know a lot about this so that new people can learn what is best for them and more importantly they can know what to stay away from. Now the two channels I'm talking about are the first one is Grim Green and the second one is P. Bissardo. Both of these guys are very knowledgeable when it comes to personal vaporizers. They help new guys and long timers alike. And the bottom line is, as corny as this sounds, using these things will extend your life. There's no other way to put it. So I'm going to put their channels in the description. If you are a smoker now, I highly advise you take a look at it. Even if you just look at it and say, I don't want that. You know what? At least give it a shot. That's it for Vega Goose Says for this week. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, be safe and game on.